Hi everyone, my name is Angela from Angela Stitches and welcome to my stitching vlog. So it's still Sunday and I was about to start stitching and I realized these two blocks are in the wrong place. So I'm going to take those out and re-stitch them. Um, I think it has to go like a row down or something. So I'm going to do that. I feel like it's going to be an easy uh, fix. So I hope it doesn't take too long. But after I do that, I'm going to stitch a little bit more and I'll come back. So uh, as you can see, I ended up stitching a lot. Um, it's like 5 in the morning right now. But I took a nap earlier in the evening, so I wasn't really tired to go to bed. But I think I'm going to have to go to bed soon though, because I have a massage appointment at 11. So, But I'm really happy with my progress. You can definitely see her face. Um, I haven't done any back stitching yet, so after that, it's going to look much more nicer. Um, I can't wait to finish it into an ornament like this and have it hanging together. Not this year, probably next year. Um, I'll have both of them hanging somewhere in the apartment. And tomorrow I think I'm going to try to finish this rose and then move on to Winter into Spring by the Drawn Thread. And this one, it came with all of the floss, beads, even the fabric, so it's all ready to go. So it's going to be easy to start that one. Um, so this is what it looks like. So I'm going to start this right after I finish the third rose on Bliss. And I think I'm going to practice some of the specialty uh, stitches. And everybody was so nice and encouraged me to try new things. So I was really thankful for that, um, for all of the kind comments. So uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone. So this is the scraps that I have. Um, I got these bundles from Kansas, uh, Heart's Desire. And this one, I tried coffee dyeing it, and most of them are even weave, I think. But I think I'm going to use one of these and do some spe specialty stitches on them and turn it into an ornament. So that's my plan for this week. I don't think I'm going to finish the sample into an ornament this week, but I'm definitely going to try to do some specialty stitches on them. So I'll try to check in with my progress tomorrow. It's Monday the 23rd and I worked on a little bit on Bliss but I'm gonna have to head out and it's funny because I just said in my last video that I don't like to go out but I'm going out tonight. Um, I'm meeting some people and I haven't seen them since last year so and they're really nice people so I'm super excited to hang out with them but I wanted to record this and check in before I forget. I'm probably going to come back super late tonight, so I'm not going to able to stitch or um, even record, I don't think. So, But I don't really have that much to say about this. I just worked on this and it seems like these two roses are the exact same roses. Um, other than that, I don't really have anything else to say about this but I'll come back again when I have more progress so I'll see you soon so I finally finished the last rose and it's Christmas Eve so I hope everyone is having an amazing time with family and friends my family we don't do anything for Christmas so I'm just home and well I stayed home and cleaned the house and stitched a little bit so the first band is finished for now um, most of you commented that Pearl cotton with $30 shipping wasn't worth it and someone commented that she can try sending me some which I am so grateful for so thank you again for your nice comments and helping me out really I really appreciate it so now um, I'm going to take this out of the Q-snap and put this on and start this and I'm also going to try to start the specialty stitches and I was thinking I might as well do all of the specialty stitches. So it looks like there are 13 different stitches. So I thought I would do like a long band or um, like that one chart with all of the different types. Can't remember the name or the designer though. It was a diagonal design. But I'm just gonna do it in straight, um, I'm just gonna do it straight across, not the diagonal way, but something similar to that one design and just do the specialty stitches um so 
I wanted to do it on this one. This one, I coffee dyed it myself. But the count is too small, I think. And I don't want to make this even harder for me. So I think I'm going to do it on this. This is also an even weave. Not sure the colorway or what count. But it looks a lot bigger. So I'll be using this. And I'm going to choose whatever color I feel like and make it colorful. So those are my plans. And... Someone also commented that they wanted to see how I start um, when I'm cross-stitching because in my last video in the, in the Stitch With Me segment, I parked a couple of threads and I also fast-forwarded that part so it was a little hard to see how I start a thread. So I'll try to show you how I do it. I'll put that video at the very end just in case if you're not interested, you don't have to watch it. But basically, I'm doing the loop method. Um, I think that's what it's called. Anyways, so... I'll try to do that at the end of the video, and I think that's it for now, so I'll see you later. So I just started Winter into Spring by the Drawn Thread, and I thought this was just regular cross-stitching and some back-stitching. You can't really tell by just looking at the cover photo, but no, it has a quite a bit of specialty stitches, so um, first let me show you this. And by the way, I got this at the Salvation Army in Kansas as a kit. And I had to sort the threads, so I used my organizer to do it. It's really pretty, but one thing I don't like is that the holes here are really sharp um, around the edges, so I might have to sand it down later. But I really like this. It actually matches the colors, so that's really pretty. So I just started and finished the first band, and the first or the heart in the middle was one of the specialty stitches and I think I did a good job. It looks a little crooked because I have the fabric on the Q-snap all crooked but um, that's okay. I'm gonna have to fix that later. But I think I wanna get to at least to Well, that's another thing. I didn't know this was going to be this small. Um, this is only 3 inches wide and 9 inches tall. I really need to read the chart before I start. Not that it matters, but still. And I thought these were all DMC with one pearl cotton, but it's actually flosses that I've never even heard of. But I'm already seeing the difference. It's much softer, I think, than DMC, and it's actually quite nice to stitch with. These are some of the names, Silk and Color, Krennic, Needlepoint, Silks. Um, and there's one that's even variegated, like this one yellowish one is variegated, but... Anyways, I think I want to get at least to the first line of the alphabet before I move on to my next thing. Not sure what I'll stitch next, but yeah, it's super pretty. I'm loving it so far. So I'm going to stitch a little bit more and I'll come back with my progress. So it's been a couple of hours and I finished four bands in total. And I think I showed you this already. Um, so this is the first band. 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, and I decided that I want to bead as I go since the whole thing is going to fit in this Q-snap that I don't have to worry about um, beads getting Q-snapped. So I did that um, in the first band, and then the second band was a little tricky because... Oh, okay, so the first band was just backstitching with the heart that was really easy to follow, and then some beads... And then the second row was tricky because I couldn't really see it when I was stitching it because it was the exact same color as the fabric. But after it was done, I could see like the difference in texture. So that's cool. And then the third row was called shell stitches or double shell stitches, which was super fun. And then the fourth row was regular cross stitches with three different types of specialty stitches, which were pretty easy. Um, so these three. And the double Leviathan. Leviathan. I'm not really sure how to say that, but this is basically a bigger version of a Smyrna stitch. And I've never done a Ray stitch before, so that was fun. Um, I wonder where they get the names, though. Um, I understand the shell stitches, but the other ones, I can't really make any connections to anything. But I should look that up. 
So anyways, I think there are 11 bands in total and I finished four today. So I'm one third of it done already. So that was actually really quick. I'm going to write down the dates now on my journal because that was my last new start in December. So let me do that real quick. Later, when I finish the projects, I'll write the dates on them as well. So now I think I'm going to spend some time or spend the rest of the week finishing some projects like my Wonderland. But I forgot something. One second. So I said a couple of weeks ago, I think, that I wanted to do one of these every year. And I couldn't decide on which fabric. Um, I'll go over it again just in case you're new and you don't know what I'm talking about. So every year I want to do one of these and make it into a tag ornament. And this is Love Never Fails by The Primitive Hair. And it's a free chart. And this one was from last year and I want to use things from that year that I really liked. So like a fabric that I really liked or, and also floss or flosses that I really liked. So this one, I use things from Fairy Idol. So the fabric is the leftover piece from that project and the purple variegated was also from Fairy Idol. Um, I think it's called Amethyst from Karen Water Lilies. So this year I decided that I wanna use this green and this is Remember Me by Blackbird Designs. And I use three different color and cotton flosses. And I want to use this because I normally don't use any fabric that is like this colored. Um, I usually go for light grays or natural brown linen colors or white or off-white. Um, mostly neutrals. So this year I thought I would use something that was a little different for me. And then for floss, since I've been focusing on finishing Wonderland, I thought I would use something from this project. And... I have three of this left. Well, I guess this isn't really floss, but still, I'm going to use this gold krennic. So I'm going to do the whole thing in this. And I think it's going to look super festive and gold and green goes so well together. Um, I think, I think so. So um, I think that's going to look really awesome. So this will be my last start um, for December. Well, not exactly. Um, I keep forgetting stuff, but I'm also going to start my specialty stitches sample project as well. So two new starts for tomorrow um, on Christmas Day. So I'll see you tomorrow. So it's Christmas Day. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Christmas in the holiday season. I stayed home and went to church and that's about it. But I did start new two, two new projects. So this one is my Love Never Fails by The Primitive Hair, and I'm using Krennic on this green fabric. I think I forgot to mention this, but I think this is called Moss Green or Forest Green by Zweigart. Um, it's a 32 count linen, and I might be totally wrong though, but I really like this color, and since it's for 2019, I'm going to change the numbers. And the chart doesn't come with the numbers, so I'm going to have to make it up like I did for 2018. So I just need to change the 8 into a 9. And I think that's going to be pretty easy. And then I started my specialty stitches sample project. So I did three different stitches so far. So this one is called the double eyelets. And then these are the rapid stitch. Those were really fun to do. And then last one was the tricky one for me. It's called the um, floral satin. I think I was having trouble with the tension. So I was pulling in some parts and some parts I wasn't, I was pulling less. So I think I'm going to redo that one. Um, I'm not really happy with that one. So, and I'm also randomly choosing colors and scattering the stitches wherever I want. So that's pretty fun. So that's all I worked on today, and I think I'm going to go back to winter into spring. Um, I think I might do the 24-hour marathon tomorrow, but that might change. But 
If I do, you'll see a video called 24 hour stitching marathon video by the end of this week. So I think that's it for this stitching vlog and I'll have the loop method tutorial right after this. So if you want to stay for that, uh, you're welcome to. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! So this is where I'll be showing you how I start a new thread and correct me if I'm wrong but I think this is called the loop method and it's pretty simple and I think this only works when you're using two strands that are folded. So one strand that's folded um, to be two strands and for one strand I think people do the pin stitch which I do sometimes but I don't usually stitch one over two and I think the pin stitch is really good for 1 over 2. But in this video, I'm going to show you the loop method. So I have my needle threaded with two strands like this. And I think from how I understood it, it's called a loop method because you're using this loop at the end to anchor your thread or secure your thread. So you don't have to make a knot or anything to start. So. I'm gonna start showing you how I do this and so I start from the front of the fabric so that the loop is in the front and then I come out from the back to where your first diagonal stitch is going to be like this and go through the loop like this and then go back down the same way you came up to the front and that's secured. And then you do the other leg of the cross stitch like you would normally do. And that's it. I'll show you another one right next to it with a different color. So start from the front. Make sure your loop is in the front. And then come out like this from the back. Go through the loop and go back down the same hole and finish the cross stitch. Super easy and I think this is such an elegant way to start without having to make a knot. Uh, so I hope this helped you. Um, if you have any questions let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!